The way I discovered uh, my passion and talent, a lot of it had to do with uh, Michael Jackson and um, uh, just listening to his music when I was really young. And that is what got me into the world of dancing and singing and being an artist. So um, to be able to um, reach better heights of talent um, is just years and years of practice. So uh, practice whether you're in the dance studio by yourself for hours on end, whether you're just singing in the car and making sure that you're practicing your voice. And no matter where you're at, you're always just like trying to grow and become better. Um, and the street really, really, really taught me a ton. And that's where I know I've gained a ton in confidence and, um, and talent and skill and just being able to express myself fully. One of the challenges of street performing is doing it whether there's five people in front of you or 200 people in front of you. Like last night, yesterday I was here for about 12 hours and you know during the day there's not very many people but to still perform to a degree of, uh, and just be professional and, and still like have that energy all the time no matter what whether there's like you know a little bit of people or a ton of people and during the day there weren't very many people throughout and then by the nighttime I had around 200 people in front of me so it was really amazing. So I've always had problems with like having full confidence within myself and believing in myself. I've always had great support system of people who like believed in me and knew what I could accomplish if I just like believed in myself and went for it. So I finally built myself up enough to go out on the street and I had this small little stereo and my girlfriend was out there holding it, holding it for me and she like played some music and then I just danced and that was it. It was super, it was like awkward, but I still got people's attention and stuff. So it was a lot of learning from the past two years of what works and what doesn't work and how to uh, hold yourself while you're out there and, and everything. So the first day was just, yeah, it was hilarious. I just danced to some music and then just left. But at the end of the day of that day, you know, I felt, I felt, uh, Proud, I guess proud would be a good word. I like, I felt good about myself, so it really helped a ton. The way I changed uh, my performances throughout the time is um, I just, I figured out more and more of like my singing and dancing and combine and like I always performed at the same time singing and dancing but to know when to just play like a dance track and just dance or to know when to just sing a song that really only requires vocals and dance just a little bit or then to really know when to uh, do a full performance say like Billie Jean or something like that or one of my original songs or whatever it is um, so that's the way I, I grew um, I never really, I never focus on money when I'm performing because I think that hinders, hinders you greatly and I feel like uh, whether it's subconscious or not, people really feel energy whether they know it or not and if you bring that energy of like I'm out here and I have to make money and I need money I, ah, and, I just, and you just have this energy and you're frustrated and you're trying to perform but you're not building a loving energy around you, people aren't going to give you money or anything. Um, so I, tr I really try not to focus on that unless it's been like a really bad week and stuff and I, I need a little bit of money and then I feel that energy and I'm like, oh, here it is. But then you just have to break out of that and just do it for fun. And I always just want to do, do it for fun and do it for the love because the love always overpowers everything. And that's when you make the most money is when you just are out there pouring your heart out. So. <laughs> Stop.
Gracias, amigos.